James Kaufman will news report today, January 5th, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've entered a proton storm. This is the ghost proton flux. At about 2030, we broke the space weather threshold. We're doing 10 million volts plus right now. And we've had a large solar flare that's not registering on GOES pop off. It was at least enough Earth facing that we're in a proton storm and a polar cap absorption event both at the same time. Crazy. All right, over to our D region absorption prediction center. We see a lot of flares popping off. I think we've just had another X flare. We can see the Antarctic poles. They're in polar absorption event right now. Radiation is pouring through the hole in the South Pole. We're not seeing as bad of a situation in the North Pole, but it is wintertime in the North, summertime in the South, meaning the Earth is much closer and tilted towards the Sun at this time of the year. This is a long-term polar cap absorption event. It started around 2030 UTC time. It's about 2.30 central time here in the u.s and we'll look at any charts for a solar flare but there's no film interruption no solar flare whatsoever uh, everything looks copacai except for well we're in a proton storm and a polar cap absorption event now we'll go to core one and show you what's really happening although they're trying to hide it we busted them again so we're out of a solar storm or geomagnetic storm at least on all four kp indexes the boulder fredericksburg estimated planetary and college all showing no storm for the last three hours here as you can see storms have been on and off for the last three maybe four days so the proton storm started around 20 20 30 maybe 21 under UTC time again guys it's going to be 3 p.m. at the latest central time here in the US and it is 10 million volts plus broke the space weather event threshold something you don't see often at all coupled with that polar cap absorption event the problem is is there was no flare, or at least they don't want y'all to think there was a flare. I'm going to show y'all the flare. Now, 2030 would have been somewhere in here. We see nothing going on, nothing but C flares. Nothing whatsoever has occurred, period. All right, this is what they don't want y'all to see here. Going into the fourth, 1600, watch it. And then 20, oh, Lord enormous flares take another look at that we also have several rocks in the sun and in my opinion take a look all these black things entering the sun and every time one of these black things and watch enters the sun there's another solar flare that accompanies it and of course we have all these asteroids we can see coming here here, here, and that's the big flare that caused the, well, the proton storm and the polar cap absorption event, both. So you guys see the coronal holes earth facing, and there's our old sunspot again, 3949, is that right? And it just produced another what looks like X flare. God bless you guys. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible. In bizarro world.